Hi everyone. Good afternoon. My name is uh, Patrick. Sorry. I'm out. Um, I'm the founder and CEO of SoCal. And at the age of 11, really, I uh, was working with my dad on various uh, renewable energy projects. I uh, found it really interesting, especially being on solar. When I had to study at university in the UK, worked on a lot of solar projects in the UK. But during COVID, what happened was, I genuinely thought I was going to die from COVID. And I said to myself, uh, what am I actually going to do if this was going to happen? So I got on, uh, on a straight flight to Nigeria, country where I'm from. And I said, if I'm going to die of COVID, I'm going to die giving people electricity. So <laughs> that was literally my, my purpose. Uh, so I founded a, a company called Palm Africa. And um, we're literally one of the fastest, I admit, we're three years now, but one of the fastest growing renewable energy utility in Nigeria. And um, our innovation team, uh, we worked on, we found new problems that we, we, we came across. And hopefully we want to tell you how we're trying to solve that problem. So the lady, we, uh, which was one of our customers at PAM, her name is uh, Mrs. Mutia, that's, that's her on the, on the left, sorry, on the right. Um, she's a trader, so she trades goods and services, she's an SME, uh, and she needs, uh, she normally buys ice blocks to cool her drinks. And also she uses generators to turn on um, power for, for uh, electricity. Now there's about, 24 million people, just like Mrs. Mutia in Nigeria, uh, which is a huge, huge industry, huge market. Uh, in Nigeria specifically, uh, total costs about $15.8 billion that they spend on alternative power. Uh, but cooling is one of the issues that has not really been addressed properly, and it's very difficult to address this. So we decided to uh, continue working on the solution, get to understand how she feels about things. And uh, this is the first system that the first box system that we put out uh, it's called a so cool box um with it you can get uh, 24 hour electricity uh, 24 hour access to cooling you can share electricity to neighboring people ar across the community um and then also you can pay f they can pay for it through what we call a so cool as a service i know the cliche as a service model but that is what we apply here which is more affordable and uh, another interesting component that, that our innovation team is working on is actually looking into um, how we can use artificial intelligence to understand the various um, customer profiles in terms of the affordability because they, the affordability is very seasonal and there's a time series uh, notion to that. So we're, we're looking at AI and applying that to optimize the affordability for uh, cheaper tariffs. So it's really typically how it works. So at the moment, uh, we currently have about uh, 15 SoCo systems out there providing electricity to about 240 people. Uh, really interesting model where the energy can be shared across the communities and different uh, asset classes in their both uh, schools, uh, hospitals, and their market squares. Our unit economics uh, is quite interesting. Uh, the, the, one of the major problems that we face in, in in the energy access sector, which is uh, where we are, where we play, is costs. Uh, most people can't afford any electricity in Africa, let's be real. So uh, what we're doing is actually simplifying that model. Uh, our, the, each of the system costs just less than uh, $2,200. But when we spread it payments over a period of time, uh, we're getting less than a four year, uh, sorry, less than a six year payback uh, period for our for each circle system. And um, obviously a lifetime value is there. When there's sub, when there's no subsidies required, uh, well actually for circle, we don't actually need subsidies. Uh, so which is very interesting. Um, we're actually looking to scale up. Uh, we've recently signed a couple of agreements with the uh, federal government in Nigeria to provide uh, as support for our systems and also uh, the United Nations through the SE4 program. Um, and so far we've attracted about $248,000 uh, and there's a huge, huge demand. I mean, customers are calling us every day to get one of these boxes. Um, so we see SoCo as a future utility in Africa um, and we're looking at about a $1.2 million at the moment uh, to get us 365 systems out there. 
um, not only electricity are we providing to these people, but the impact is huge. I mean, there are, we've had people call us and say, Look, this has changed their lives. Uh, we've had people talk about um, jobs being provided. Each local box can provide about 10 jobs, both from manufacturing and uh, distribution of energy. Uh, we've just recently invested in a factory. We call it a gigafactory, but it's not really as big as a gigafactory. Uh, but that could produce about 10,000 circuit boxes a day. Sorry, a year. I mean, Jesus Christ, that's a lot. <laughs> 10,000 boxes a year. So uh, hopefully we can get to the point that we can get 10,000 a day. Uh, so hopefully uh, you can come, come across us a lot uh, on our journey. And um, fingers crossed we're able to be the solution that actually solves the energy problem in Africa. Thank you very much. Um, really interesting. Uh, how I got so many questions about this, but I'll try to stick to this one. Uh, say a little bit more about you're trying to make this affordable in these in informal areas. Is there a down payment? And then you said there's a sort of payment schedule, or is the asset is the asset ending up owned? Are you transferring the asset, or is it essentially a service? Yeah. Model and you and you maintain the asset. So the um, we own the assets, so the service model, so it's so called the service. Okay. Um, it's very difficult for the customers to actually own the asset because of the cost of the asset. Right. So we own the assets for the duration of the of the use. And, and you, how many of these units have you got out? Did you say we have a fifteen so called out um, and two hundred and forty customers connected? Okay. And how are they holding up? In very good. Funny enough, very good. So. What is the competition out there? Um, you've got mini grids, which is a typical competition for this space. You've got the solar home systems. It sits in the middle. And what makes SoCo quite interesting is uh, the problem with providing electricity in Africa was when you provide electricity to people, they're not well educated enough to actually use it to generate revenue. The box actually takes that uh, part of the education out of the way. It's like you're giving them a system where they're using it to actually make money immediately. So uh, these are actually going directly to the SMEs. Um, and because they're already using it to, to, to create revenue immediately, they're more likely to, to make the payments. Um, and uh, the system is kind of automated, it's connected through IoT system. So they just kind of top up. And whenever the credit runs out, so they top up again. So we've been having very good, zero default so far. Interesting. So yeah, I was gonna ask you about the repayment rate. Um, but how are you doing your, your customer acquisition? Do you have a team that is in the markets and goes to speak with a small stores and tries tries to upsell sell them this? Or how are you doing it? Yeah, so um, at the moment, um, because of... So, so we need capital to get more boxes built, but also we need there's a, there's more customers than, than capital, okay. <laughs> right? So uh, we haven't had an issue with customer acquisition because we have people calling us every day because it is as a service. and. It's a direct replacement to generators for them. And it was much, much more cheaper than generators when you look at the cost. Um, so for now, we ha that hasn't been an issue. When we're looking at scale, um, then also there will be marketing campaigns. And uh, we are uh, currently building what we call the, the first net zero village, uh, where we're going to have about 16 circle systems and a couple of other renewable energy assets in there uh, to demonstrate the, the possibility of this. So. Um, yeah, the cost of market is the actual cost for us at the moment is zero because we have a long list of customers waiting. And whenever you see the neighbors have a box, there's like five phone calls we get in the same day as much to get it in. Okay, now the credit product, so you are taking that financial risk on yourselves, yeah, right? We're taking that financial risk. Yeah. The reason why is um, previously, obviously, we, we worked with financial partners. Um, not a lot of them understand the customer as well as we do. So we decided to, to take that on for now. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And that's it. And I, the NH, welcome.